Jesus, King of all glory. We thank you for this time, Lord. We desire, we desire to go deeper and deeper in your presence, to experience your fullness, O oh Lord. As the deer is panted for the streams of water, there is our prayer, Lord. We are thirsty for you, Lord. We are thirsty for you, Lord. We are thirsty for you, Lord. Speak to us today, Lord, according to your will. Holy Spirit of God, take full control as you minister to our spirits, as you minister to us, Lord, and even as you minister to them that are listening to us from across the world, King of all glory. And I pray that the power and the presence that we are experiencing in this place, oh God, it's going to reach forth unto many in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare that there shall be a hunger and a thirst for you, Lord, in the hearts of many, King of all glory, for the glory, honor, and praise of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say amen. 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 Before we started intercession, I was, uh, I had mentioned the verse in the book of John chapter 19. In verse 34, the Bible says, but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and forthwith came there out blood and water. Uh, one of the afflictions that Jesus encountered on the cross was this piercing of his side. And out of his side, it, there flowed water and, and blood. Praise the name of the Lord. I also want to read John chapter 7. Today I said we are getting deeper. We are going deeper. Amen? Amen. Deeper and deeper in the presence of the Lord. Deeper and deeper in worship. Deeper and deeper in the word. Deeper and deeper in our prayer lives. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. John chapter 7. I'm going to read from verse 37. The Bible says, In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried and said, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. And he that believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not given yet, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying, said, of truth, this is the prophet. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus stood and said, If any man thirst, if anyone is thirsty, let him come and drink. Praise the name of the Lord. If any man is thirsty, let him come and drink. And after coming and drinking, the Bible says that he that believeth, out of his berry shall flow rivers or streams of living water. Praise the name of the Lord. Today I want to I wanna say this, that it is our responsibility to take the step and go and drink. Praise the name of the Lord. It is important for us as people to come to that position of realizing that we need Jesus. Amen. We need Jesus. We are thirsty. We have not had enough of the Lord. We need more and more of him. Are we together so far? Praise the name of the Lord. So today as we learn about getting deeper and getting deeper in the presence of the Lord, I want you to understand that in as much as there is all the resources available that have been provided by God, it is for us to take the step to desire more. Amen. It is for us to take the step to desire and even to go and get more and more filled of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And so today I want us to go to the book of Ezekiel. I'm, I'm going to preach from the book of Ezekiel chapter 47. And I want you to go with me uh, verse by verse. Ezekiel 47. The Bible says, Afterward, he brought me again unto the door of the house. And behold, waters 
issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the front front, for the forefront of the house stood towards the east, and the waters came down from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar. This is Ezekiel. He, had, he was taken to the temple and he has seen water flowing from the temple. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he was brought to the east side and he started seeing that this water is coming from the altar. And as we have read, I want us to connect this, that as we have read Jesus on the cross, when he was pierced on his side, there flowed blood and there flowed what? Water. Praise the name of the Lord. So as we speak about this, I want you to think about water as the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Amen. As the water that flowed from the side of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. So verse 2 says, Then brought he out of the way the gate uh, of the gate northward, and led me about the way without unto the outer gate, by the way that looks eastward, and behold, there ran out water on the right side. And when the man that had the light in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters, and the waters were to the ankle. Praise the name of the Lord. So we find this man going and measuring a thousand cubits. And when the measure was a thousand cubits, the Bible says that Ezekiel went into the water, but it was only ankle deep. Amen. So only his feet were wet. Praise the name of the Lord. So he went in and the water was ankle deep. And let's continue. Uh, again, he measured a thousand and brought me through the waters and the waters were to the knees. So the second time, he went, he measured a thousand cubits again, and when he went through the waters, the waters were just knee deep. That is the second level. Praise the name of the Lord. And again, he measured a thousand and brought me through, and the waters were to the loins or to the waist. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then that time the water got up to the up to the waist. Are we together so far? Yes. And afterward, he measured a thousand. And it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. So the, the fourth time, the waters were so mighty, they were so deep, that he could not even touch beneath. When he stood, he could not touch beneath. Praise the name of the Lord. All he had to do was swim because the waters were many. And the Bible says, and it became a river, a river that could not be passed over. Praise the name of the Lord. I want us to go step by step because we have been learning about walking as Christian or practicing our faith or being Christ-like. Praise the name of the Lord. There are steps that you can take in this journey of walking in obedience to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I said it is our responsibility. We have a choice to make. Amen. If there is something that the Lord did not take away from us, is the will and the, uh, the, 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 the ability to make choices. And that is why when we speak about the gospel and when we tell our people about Jesus, we don't force them to get born again. Amen. Have you ever seen somebody with a, with a cane and he wants like, it's either you be born again or you're going to get a punishment? No. You have to make the decision. You have to make that conscious decision to receive Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And there are some people who decide not to receive Jesus and they are in that level I am calling the zero position of remaining at the riverbank. They don't want to get in. They are just there. Hallelujah. Amen. You you speak, they have had the gospel, or others might not have had the gospel, but they are still at the river bank. And that is why Jesus is saying, anybody who is dusty, come and drink. Praise the name of the Lord. And the first level we find that when the water was measured, the first level was ankle level. 
It is getting your feet wet and stepping into the water. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the, the level when you say, I receive Jesus. I understand I cannot make it on my own. I want Jesus in my life. I make a commitment to, be, to receive Jesus, to be born again. And that is where we say you take a step into the water. Amen. You make your feet wet. The water is up to the ankle. Hallelujah. But I have come to speak to you today. If you have made that commitment and you have made your feet wet right now and you feel the presence of the Lord is up to the ankle, you really don't know what this is about. You don't know how this is going to turn about. Amen. You have, you have, you don't even know how to communicate with God. You don't know even how to worship the Lord. You have just stepped in the water. That is the ankle level. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But I have come to tell you that you don't have to remain there. You don't have to remain in the position of where you are born again. And you just say, I have received Jesus. I was born again on such and such a date. Praise the name of the Lord. Or I prayed the prayer of commitment to the Lord. I am now born again. That is not the final level. That is just but a beginning. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Our growth into intimacy and deeper levels of the presence of the Lord is determined by our desire to have more and more of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you are in that level of just receiving Jesus and you feel like, okay, I can, you are told you should read the word and you feel like all, all I have to do is go to church and everything will be okay. Let me assure you there is another level. And when you desire, the more you desire, the more the Lord fills you. Praise the name of the Lord. And we find that the next level is the knee level, knee deep level. And this is the place where you start committing, being committed to the word, being committed to Bible study, being committed even to share that you love Jesus with your colleagues. Praise the name of the Lord. But let me tell you that in that level of the knee, it is not as easy to walk around the water like when you are just ankle deep. Praise the name of the Lord. At the knee level, there is the weight of the water. You have to navigate your, your walk in the water. At the knee level, there are forces that can come and trip you. The wind can blow. Amen. There will be challenges. There will be hindrances. Amen. When somebody is at the ankle level, it is easy to walk. It is easy to just uh, and rejoice and say, I am born again. But when you get to the knee level, there starts to come uh, hindrances. There start to come challenges. Amen. Things that will challenge your faith. The people start noticing that you are somewhere now. You're not where you were. You are somewhere. You are knee deep in Christ Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You are wading in the water knee deep. And there are people who start questioning. Are you sure this is the way you want to go? But I have come to tell you that the Lord desires for us to get deeper and deeper. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we get to the waist level. The waist level, things get even tougher. Hallelujah. Uh, for those who love swimming, how many love swimming? Hallelujah. Amen. I still don't know how to swim well, but I love just being in the water. Praise the name of the Lord. And when the waters are up to your waist, you still can't walk freely in the water. Praise the name of the Lord. You will still feel the weight of the water. Hallelujah. And you know the problem with being waist, waist deep is that you can still see the bank. You can see the people who are not in the water. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your eyes can see what others are doing, those who are not in the water. Those that are not in the river. Amen. Amen. And it is easy to think about the challenges that you're facing right here and see what they are enjoying out there and you think it is easier out there than it is in here. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. 
But I've come to tell you there is another level where the water is too deep that you cannot touch the bottom. That all you have to do is swim. And that is where the Lord wants us to get into that level where it is only the Lord who can bring you through the waters. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. The Lord desires that we let go of every control we want to have. The Lord desires that we yield fully to him. We surrender fully to him. I was told when, when I was learning, I was being trained how to swim. I was told the easiest way you can swim is let go. <laughs> you let go, you stop worrying, you just relax. Amen? Amen. And it is the same way. When we come into this kingdom, when we want to anchor deep, for us to experience this intimacy and this depth, we need to let go of our cares. We need to let go of our worries. We need to get let go of what people are thinking. We need to just let the Lord take control of our lives. We need to desire to swim and swim deeper into the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible says, that after there was such a river that could not be passed over. Verse 16, the Bible, verse 6, the Bible says, and, the, and they said unto me, son of man, has you, have you seen this? Then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river, there were many trees on the one side and on the other. Then he said unto me, this waters issue out towards the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea which being brought forth into the sea the waters shall be healed verse 9 it says and it shall come to pass that everything that liveth which moves and whosoever the river shall come shall live and there shall be a great multitude of fish because this water shall come hither, for they shall be healed, and everything that shall live where the river comes in. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The result of soaking in this river, the result of these waters, is that it brings life. Everything that was dead was brought back to life. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When we desire to be submerged in the presence of the Lord, to be solely sold out to God, there is rivers of living waters that are flowing out of us. Praise the name of the Lord. And what does that do? Wherever you are, whatever is dead is brought back to life. There is fruitfulness. Amen. Amen. You know, we are living in an era where we are desiring to see things which we term to be blessings, but in the real sense, they are just material things. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And I don't know why I've been saying this again and again. It is good to prosper. Amen. It is good to live in a good house. It is good to drive a good car. But that is not all there is to the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all the other things shall be added. And the Lord is calling us today into seeking him more. Into getting deeper and deeper into him. Praise the name of the Lord. And these are the results. When we get deeper into this river, when we get deeper into this, into his presence, it brings back life to everything that is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. And number two, it brings healing. Amen. It brings healing. If you read verse 10, it says, and it shall come to pass it shall come to pass that the fishes shall stand up from, upon it from Engendim unto En. Oh, that name is hard to pronounce. Eneglen, there shall be a place to spread forth net. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceedingly many. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says, where the river started flowing. It flew where there was salt and the waters became fresh. And it brought healing. It brings food to the hungry. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Bible says that the fishermen shall stand at the, at the bank ready to fish. And you know fish signifies food. Praise the name of the Lord. So there will be divine provision. Today I want us to understand that we need to, to just check our priorities. And understand what should come first. Because the things we are busy seeking are not the things that should be first. But God should come first. Amen. Amen. Seeking the kingdom of God should come first. And then all the other things shall be added. Healing is a part. Is, a, is in the package. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Are we together so far? What's yeah. happening there? Mm -hmm. Amen. Did I lose you somewhere? No. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So today I want us to push. I want us to push past our personal hindrances and distractions. Amen. Amen. Because I feel that some of the hindrances we have are very personal. Some of the distractions we have allowed are not even necessary. I want us to push past all the personal hindrances and distractions. And I want us to have a desire to wade deeper into the waters of God's presence with our praise, with our worship, with an open heart of expectation. I want us to desire to wade deeper. And I want us to have a moment of reflection. What is that that is hindering you from wading deeper into the waters of the presence of God? What is it that has distracted you? And as I said this to you, I'm also saying it to myself. Because I know there is more and more that we have not experienced. There is more power. There is more divine encounters. There is more miracles. Praise the name of the Lord. There is more supernatural happenings that we have not yet experienced. Amen. There is more of the sweet presence of the Lord that we have not experienced. And it's not because the Lord does not desire us to experience this. But it's because we have to take that first step. Amen. We have to acknowledge that we are dusty. Amen. David said one time, as the deer panters for the streams of water, so does my soul thirst for you, O Lord. Amen. As the deer panted for the streams of water. So does my soul last for you, O oh Lord. Amen. I don't know whether you, 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 you are getting this, that dust, that desire that you need to, to, to just have an encounter with God. I want you to just pause for a moment and think about a time you were thirsty. Just a normal thirst. I want you to pause a moment, think about a time that you were thirsty and you were like, I just need something to drink. I want you to experience that thirst you had. I want you to think about such moment where you just needed a drink. You needed to have water to drink or just a drink that can quench your thirst. Are you thinking about that moment when you were thirsty? And now I want you to Analyze in your spirit. Do you ever get that thirsty for God? Do you feel that thirst that, oh God, I just need a time of prayer. I just need a time of fellowship with God. I just need a quiet time with God. I just need to be away from every noise, from every distraction, from the busyness and the rush and the, and the fastness of this world. I just want to have a moment with God. Do you have such moments of thirst for God? 
Do you have such moments when you feel like, no, 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 I am fed up of Facebook, WhatsApp, and everything else. I just need to read the word of God. I need to saturate my mind and my spirit with the word of God. Do you have such moments of hunger and thirst for God? Because it all comes down to our desire. Whosoever is thirsty, let him come and drink. Whosoever is thirsty, let him come and drink. A few a few years ago, I had we had gone for a mission in one of the dry areas of Kenya in Trukana. And you know when it's in a desert, you get dehydrated so fast. And you feel you need a drink. You need to drink water. And I remember feeling so thirsty. But the water I got was salty water. It could not quench the thirst. And I remember after a few days staying in that place, I did not care whether the water was this water was salty. When I was thirsty, I drank that water because I was thirsty. And today I want us to surrender ourselves to the Lord. As I said this, I just want you to stand before the presence of the Lord and lift up those heads and just close your eyes, block out everything else, stop thinking about you're going to work, stop thinking about what you left behind. I just want you to stand up, raise those hands up, close your eyes, because today I want a thirst, a thirst, a thirst. Still waiting for you to just stand up, lift those hands to the Lord. And I want you to be filled with a thirst. That you will wake up in the morning thirsty for God. You will wake up in the morning hungry for the word of God. Before you can check your messages, your email, you desire to study the word of God. So that we may get deeper. If you are in the ankle level, you may move to the knee deep. If you are in the knee deep level, you may move to the waist level. If you are in the waist level, oh, can you get to the level where it is so much that all you can do is swim through. May the Lord release a rush of his word in our hearts. May the Lord release a dust of his presence in our hearts. Just open your mouth and tell the Lord, I desire to be thirsty for you. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Oh, we have been full of so many things. We have been full of junk. But it is time to empty every junk out, every junk out, every garbage that we have filled our hearts with. We are taking it out today in the name of Jesus. Jesus, and we desire to be full of the thirst of God. That when we wake up in the morning, we'll be thirsty for God. Just like you wake up in the morning and you go looking for coffee, before you go look for that coffee, you look for the word of God. Before you go talk to somebody, you wake up and you're yearning to call your loved one or speak to somebody on the phone. Before you make that phone call to your loved one, you can make a phone call to the Lord. You can speak to the Lord. You can call upon his name. We declare today that we are pushing through, we are pushing through every personal hindrances, every distraction, so that we may be able to wander deep, oh yes, into the waters of the Lord's presence, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Mando hoshetala bababuzai, ranto laba sheketala bababuzai. Oh, make it your prayer today, just like David declared. 
as the deer panted for the streams of water, so does my soul thirst for you. Oh, make it, make it your declaration today that you will thirst for God. You will thirst for righteousness. You will thirst for the pure worship. You will thirst for the word of God. You will thirst, you will thirst, you will thirst for the Holy Spirit. I declare a thirst now. I declare a thirst upon each and every one who is here, O oh God. I declare a thirst even for those who are listening to us online in the name of Jesus. And it is not a thirst for food and drink, but a thirst for the word of God. A thirst for the worship. A thirst for the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Mashatalababosiketai. Rasha talababa bo seke talababa bo shalala. We yield to you, Lord. We surrender to you, King of our glory. We surrender to you, everlasting Father. We surrender to you, King of our glory. And we declare that our desire is to drink, O oh Lord, from your wells in the name of Jesus. So that there will be an overflow. I declare an overflow. I declare an overflow. So that out of our bellies there shall flow rivers and streams of living waters in the name of Jesus so that we may bring forth healing, we may bring forth life in the name of Jesus for the glory, honor and praise of your name. We thank you Lord. We thank you King of our glory. In Jesus name we pray and everybody say amen. 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 May God bless you. May you continue to thirst. May you continue to thus for the Lord. Amen. Uh, I welcome.